Okay, hi. So we're going to be looking at what happens when you're tasked with solving a, a word problem in a programming language, uh, sort of from a computational thinking perspective. Okay, so so we provide you with a, a question here. Okay, so we want you to, within a particular class, so within the utils class that's provided to you. So this is within VPL on on the uh, the website for the for the course. So we've been providing you with with some some files, and you're to modify the method. The, the method is this function that we call um, is leap year, and uh, and it's got an input called year. Okay, and that input's going to be of, of type integer. This method takes an integer as an input parameter. VPL, so our testing framework, will test your method against a set of input parameters to see if your method can determine if the year entered is a leap year or not. So that's the basic problem that we're dealing with. Let's get into the specifics. So for the algorithm that you implement inside the method, okay, so so basically you've got, you're going to have a class, okay, and then inside that class, you're going to have this function or method inside of it. And this is, this right here is what you're working on, right, right in here, okay. So, um, so for the algorithm that you're to implement inside the method, recall that a year is a leap year if and only if it is divisible by 400 or it is divisible by 4 but not by 100. So your method is leap year should return true if it is a leap year and it should return false if it is not a leap year. Okay, so how we got we got to figure out how to test this sort of thing, okay? Um, now, one of the things that you probably want to consider is going to take a look at uh, book references, okay, to, to just sort of get uh, clear about what we talk, we're talking about when we're talking about operators and if-else statements and things like that. So when we're talking about if-else statements, in, in the book, uh, the Fundamentals um, 8, or Java 8 book, this, this is sort of a flowchart for an if-else, okay? And the structure for if-else is like this. Okay, so you've got an if, you've got these curly braces that contain the first statements, if this is true, and then you've got some other statements in here for the case where it's false. So we say else, and then we have curly braces, and then we have the statements inside of it. That's what we're talking about with an if statement. And here we're really breaking down things into an if else, where we return true if it's true, and we return false if it isn't true, this condition that we're, we're trying to test. You may also, so that's chapter five of the book. In chapter four of the book, there are the operators. And the operators contain, or the list of operators are things like the, the not equals, okay, operator and things like that. So if you need to get familiar with operators, go to chapter four. If you uh, are curious or need to know a little bit more about if-else statements, go to chapter five. Okay, so we've got basically three conditions that we have to be testing, okay? The first one, is, um, let me see, is either, is divisible by 400, okay? So what that means is, my year divided by 400. Okay, that's what we're talking about. But to test that, to see if it's, if it's divisible by 400, we have to see if the remainder is zero, okay? So then what we're gonna do is test for my year modulo uh, 400 Oops, my year like that okay and um, let's see just to make sure sorry it's year sorry it's not my year it's year so year like that so year lowercase let's pretend that's lowercase right there okay year modulo 400 is it equal to zero? So that means that it's a clean division by 400. So that's one condition. Another condition that we have here is, is divisible by four. Okay, so there's a second condition right here. So divisible by four. So we so uh, year modulo four, and it's gotta be clean, so no remainder. That's another condition right here. And then this, the third condition, and not by 100. So year, modulo 100 isn't clean, okay? So there are these three conditions, and you notice that I'm writing this out. It's really important that you take a piece of paper and, and write out the, the problem, that you don't just work on the computer to do this, because it's really easy to get confused 
while you're trying to solve a program on the computer. So, so I'm writing this out on paper. I know I'm using a tablet to, but to show you. Okay, so there's this condition right here, and this is all by itself. And then this one is a combination because we say, or it is divisible by four and not by a hundred. So this is the, the logical and. So those two have to be added together, okay? And then these two, that condition and that pair of conditions needs to be ORed together, all right? So we can write it like this. So we go if one or two and three. That's the if condition that I want to deal with. Okay, and then I'm going to curly brace system dot out dot print line. I'm going to say um, is leap here like that. And then I close the curly brace like that. And then it's else. And then I say system dot out dot print line is not a leap here. Like that. That's the structure of my if statement. Okay. So now what I do is I'm going to go into the Java shell. I'm going to test this out without creating a, a big structure for my um, uh, for my Java program. I'm just going to do it like this. So I'm going to say int year is equal to 1980 like that. Okay. So just a test year right here. Next, I'm going to say um, if. And I'm just going to create the, the skeleton, okay? So if, and then a the, the, the parenthesis to contain the, the thing we're going to test, then the curly brace, then I hit enter, system.out.print line, uh, it's a leap year, like that. I close the curly brace. Now, uh, I, I want to be able to continue on, so I'm going to actually add the else right here. Okay, and then I say uh, system dot out dot print line. It's not a leap year. I'm gonna capitalize not like that. I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna close the curly brace. Now I'm not gonna hit enter again. I'm gonna go back up here, and I'm gonna put the framework for the the logical tests. So if we go back to this right here, what we see is we have the first test, then we're going to go or, then we're going to go to the second test, and inside that second test, we have the second, we have number two right here, and we have an or, uh, sorry, an and, and then we have number three. Okay, now we're going to fill it in. So we're going to go, um, let me see, year, modulo, 400 is that equal to zero? Now I'm going to go to the second one right here. Here, modulo four is equal to zero, and then here, modulo 100 not equal to zero like that. I hit enter, and it returns and it says it's a leap here. Now I hit up, 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 up. There we go. I'm going to say 1981. Hit enter. Now let's test it again. So I go up, up, bring it back in. It says it's not a, a leap here. So let's try something else. Let's say 2000. And there we go. It's a leap here. So it looks like this is working. So now what I'd want to do is bring it back into the, 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 the problem system that we have in our LMS in E class. 
which is VPL, Virtual Programming Lab. And in Virtual Programming Lab, what you do is you write the, the, the class and the method in what's blue right here, okay? Virtual Programming Lab, what it will do is it will, in, it, it will call your class and the method within that class. You have to write it correctly, okay? But the framework is given for you or given to you. It'll call it from the, the main function of the main method in that's already been placed sort of behind the scenes inside of VPL. And then we also have a framework for doing the testing. It, what's in green right here, and this is JUnit. And there's a number of tests that it runs. You don't see them. They run in the background. And so when you run VPL uh, and that console pops up, it's testing what's in blue, but it's using the stuff in black right here, that internal Java program. And it's using the testing uh, system, the JUnit testing system, the green part right here, to test. And it returns the value of the JUnit test for you. And that's what you get graded on. Okay, so I'm going to pause right here, and I'm going to fire up VPL, and we're going to test out to see if the J shell example will work in VPL. Okay, so we're back in E-Class. And in E-Class, there's the Virtual Programming Lab exercise. And in this case, it's the Leap Year exercise. And, and again, this business of testing to see if it's leap year based on the conditions we were talking about earlier. Now, as, as a, a student, you'll be faced with this, that you are required to update or to change the utils.java file within the, the VPL activity. So what we do is we go to edit right here, and you're given a template for a class called utils, and it has a basically an entry here for a method called uh, is leap year. Now, you're supposed to replace this. So, so how, would you, how would you go about doing it? Well, we've tested our thing in, in uh, the J shell. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paste it in like this. And replace this right here because I've got the, the framework or the, the basically the, the outline for a method right there. I need the if business. In the middle of it okay now I can space it a little bit differently if I want something like that okay now what do I need to do I've got my system out print line which is great that helps me as a person but it's not going to help the testing framework the testing framework is, is needing to see a returned value of true okay so I return true here if that condition is true and if it's not true I want to return false like that. All right, and I'm going to bring that over there. So my method is here, my class is there, and then within my method, there is the algorithm that we're testing. Okay, so now I'm going to hit save like this. I'm going to run it to see if it runs. So now we're running the, uh, the main method has been called. The main method calls the method that we have, okay, within the class utils, and uh, and it runs tests on it here using JUnit, which is what we were talking about earlier. And you can see that there's one test right here, and it determines yes, it's a leap year, and it runs another test. Oh no, that's not a leap year. We don't know which years it's testing, but it is testing them. Then it tests another one. Oh, that's a leap year. That's not a leap year. Then uh, then it's another leap year right there. It takes a short period of time to do it. It says the testing is okay. So now we're ready to evaluate. So I'm gonna hit the evaluate button. And we have a successful test right there. Okay, and there you have it. We can go from the original framed question. We can then draw it out, write it out on paper. Okay, to make sure that we got the logic straight in our heads. Then we implement it in uh, J shell or in IntelliJ then we bring it into VPL and we do the final testing on it there. That is one approach to solving these word problems. Okay, good luck everyone.